Good morning. How are you doing today? Do hope you're well. I reckon some of you are getting quite excited because this coming week is half term and I do hope you have a wonderful time, whatever you get up to. Can you remember back to our online Big Bible character from last week? He was a man called Ehud and he was a judge but I'm not going to spoil the story for you because if you haven't read it, you can look it up in Judges chapter 3. This week, we've got a new Bible character. Now, God's people, the Israelites, had been following both Moses and then Joshua, but now they had no leader. And sometimes they did the right thing, like us, and sometimes they didn't do the right thing. So God sent people who would be able to help them to tell right from wrong. And these were the judges. And our character today is one of those. And her name was Deborah. Now Deborah was rather unique because she was both a woman and a judge. And you might think that sounds strange nowadays, but they didn't have many women who took a lead and they certainly weren't judges. Deborah used to sit under a palm tree and she would judge the people of Israel, help them to decide the things that were right and the things that were wrong. And I reckon God gave her lots of wisdom so that she was able to help God's people. But that's not the only characteristic she had. She was also very brave. Let's hear her story now. After the death of Ehud, the Israelites again started disobeying the Lord. So the Lord let King Jabin conquer Israel. Sisera was the commander of Jabin's army and he made life miserable for the Israelites until they finally begged the Lord for help. Deborah was a prophet and a leader of Israel during those days and she'd sit under Deborah's palm tree and judge the Israelites. One day, Barak came to talk to Deborah and when he arrived, she said, I have a message for you from God. You are to get together an army of men and the Lord will trick Sisera into coming out to fight you. Sisera will be leading King Jabin's army and they'll have chariots, but the Lord has promised to help you defeat them. I'm not going unless you go, Barak told her. All right, I'll go, she replied, but I'm warning you, the Lord is going to let a woman defeat Sisera. Deborah and Barak left for Kadesh, where Barak called together the troops, and Barak led them out and Deborah went too. This time, Heber of the Canaanite clan was living near the village of Oak in a tent. When Sisera learned that Barak had led an army to Mount Tabor, he called his troops and then he led his army away to the river. Deborah shouted, Barak, it's time to attack Sisera because today the Lord is going to help you defeat him. In fact, the Lord has already gone on ahead to fight for you. So Barak led his 10,000 troops down from Mount Tabor and during the battle, the Lord confused Sisera, his chariots and whole army and everyone was so afraid of Barak and his army, even Sisera jumped from his chariot, tried to escape. Sisera's army was wiped out and only Sisera escaped. He ran to Heber's camp and there he met Jael, Heber's wife. She came out to greet him and said, come in, sir, come on in, don't be afraid. Sisera was exhausted and soon fell asleep and Jael killed him and that night he died. Meanwhile, Barak had been following Sisera and Jael went out to meet him. The man you're looking for is inside, she said. Come and I'll show him to you. They went inside and there was Sisera, dead. That same day, the Israelites defeated the king, Jabin, and his army was no longer powerful enough to attack the Israelites. So Jabin grew weaker and weaker. Deborah and Barak praised God. Do we thank God and give him the glory when he's helped us be brave in a tricky situation?